I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw shapes and then learn our colors. Starting way up here at the top on the left, I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, and connect. This is a circle. Circle. Okay? Right next to it, in the center, I put a dot. And I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left. Come back to the dot. Straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the bottom. Straight line across. I have one, two, three sides. This is a triangle. Triangle. Okay. Right next to that right here on the right, I put a dot. And I'm going to try and draw four straight lines that are the same size. One, two, three, four. This is a square. And it has four sides. Okay? Now I come down here in the center, put a dot. I'm going to draw a curve line out, down, keep going, out, up, and connect. This is an oval, an elongated circle, oval. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle. One, two, straight lines. One, two, straight lines connect. You want these two shorty lines to be the same and these two long lines to be the same length. Rectangle. Rectangle. Okay? Now I come down here and I put a dot. And I draw a straight diagonal down on the left. Come back to the dot. Straight diagonal line down on the right. Straight line out. Straight line in. Leave it floating. Jump over to the left. Straight line out. Straight line down. Leave it floating. Straight line out. Straight line up on the left. Straight line out, straight line up, connect on the right. This is a star. Okay? Now, right about here, put a dot. And I'm going to draw a big curve line out, in, leave it floating. Come back to the dot, big curve line out, in, connect. This is a heart. These are all called shapes. Shapes. Now, we're going to add shapes and colors. So get out your crayons. We're ready for the next step. Okay, let's make sure we all have the same colors. For my circle, I'm going to put a green line so that I know that is supposed to be green. My triangle, I'm going to put a brown line so that's going to be brown. My square, I'm going to make red so I put a red line underneath that word. My oval, I'm going to make purple so I draw a purple line by that word. My rectangle, I put a yellow line. That's going to be yellow. My star, I draw an orange line. And my heart, I draw a blue line. 
So I can do my colors according to what I just wrote at a later time if I want to. So I know my circle is going to be green. So I'm going to color the inside of my circle green. I call this a loop-de-loop -loop line because I'm just going around and around in circles to fill in the space. My circle is green. Next, I get my brown and I color in my triangle. I try to stay in the lines. There's my triangle. Next, I look at my color underneath my word and my square needs to be red. So I'm going to color this all in. red. There we go. Next is my oval. That should be purple. That's what that line underneath the word means. Purple. So I'm going to color that in. Purple. Next, rectangle. This should be yellow. So I'm going to color this in yellow. Next is my star. What color? Orange. I'm going to color in my star orange. Next, my heart, and that should be blue. So now, not only do I have a little chart that I can keep handy, but it has my shapes and it also has my colors. So I have a green circle, a brown triangle, a red square, a purple oval, a yellow rectangle, an orange star, and a blue heart. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my shapes and my colors. You can always mix up the colors, but keep the shapes. Okay, bye-bye.